Megan finally admits to having plastic surgery, what she's had done. The Transformers star spent $30,000 on breast augmentation surgery. Megan Fox's appearance has been a hot topic of conversation over the years, and she's finally spilling her plastic surgery secrets. The 37-year-old admitted that she has gone under the knife to alter her appearance, including getting a nose job and spending $30,000 on the biggest boobs that could fit in my body. Megan Fox Plastic Surgery My boobs have been fake since I was 21 or 22. I got them done in between the first and second Transformers. But I had them done conservatively, she revealed on the Call Her Daddy podcast. Because back then everyone did the work, but you had to do work that was undetectable. She continued. I always, that little girl that was in the mirror like, where are my boobies? I always wanted big boobies, so I wasn't happy with the first set. I had them redone after I was done breastfeeding my kids because I don't know where they went, but they went. Then I had to have them redone very recently because the first set I didn't have enough body fat to disguise. You can see the rippling thing of the implants. Megan's latest breast augmentation took her up to a 32D, but she admitted if she were able to go bigger, she would, despite her fear of anesthesia. I don't like surgery, my body doesn't react well to general anesthesia, and so when I go to have a surgery it's a very big deal, she explained. Going under anesthesia is a risk to your life. So when I had to go in for this set I was like, look, if you're going to put me to sleep, if I'm going to be sick for two months from the general anesthesia, I better wake up with the biggest boobs you can fit in my body. And that is what he said he did. And they're not even that big. They're a 32D which is not that big, they just look big on my body because my body's tiny. She added, But if he could have gone bigger, I would have had them go bigger because I don't like surgery, and the fact that I had to do it, I was like, I want a reward for the suffering I have to go through. I don't want to wake up with a full B cup. There's no expletive point in that, I'm not doing it. Megan admitted that there are many procedures she hasn't done because of her fear of being put to sleep on the operating table. I'm very afraid of dying under general anesthesia, she confessed. So, I don't take surgery lightly and therefore I've not had many of them because of that. So, it's probably a saving grace that I have this paranoia or this fear, otherwise God knows what I would have been up to. What surgery has Megan had? While she admitted she has had cosmetic procedures like filler and Botox, she dismissed claims that she has had a facelift. Although she plans to have one in the future, and threads, a non-surgical procedure that can lift sagging skin. I've never had a facelift of any kind, no lateral brow lift although I would like one, she said. No regular brow lift, I've never done threads. That's not because of some moral thing, I just don't really believe they work and I'm also afraid that they would interfere when I do need to have a facelift. Megan added, I am very tempted to go have my eyebrows snatched like all the way back. I want that look. That seems fun and you can do it on a lunch break, and I see why it's so tempting. She also rubbished reports that she has had liposuction and her buckle fat removed. I've never had that done I'll never have any fat removed, she stated. I'm a very like lean person that doesn't have enough body fat or fat in my face so I will only ever put fat in. I will never be taking fat out, which leads me to I've never had any liposuction or body contouring or anything like that. There is one procedure that Megan would love to have done though, a Brazilian bum lift, but she admitted it is not possible on her slim frame. She admitted, If I could I would. I don't have the extra body fat. I would get it done if I could. That surgery is such a hard one to recover from. It's basically like three months you have to lie flat on your face. You're bruised for an eternity. If I was to ever do that, if I'm going to survive that surgery, you're going to give me a bottom that's an anomaly. She continued, Like I'm going to walk through a park, and I'm going to turn around, and everyone is going to be whispering and laughing and talking because they're like, what? What are we looking at, like circus freak? If I'm going through that healing process, I want that. I'm not coming out with like, oh, has she been really hitting the gym recently? She added, it's got to stop people in their tracks. But I don't have the body fat to do that. But when in the future you can take donated fat from people, I will be doing that.